Hello everybody, how are you all doing? Welcome back to Man City Unplugged, your very own Man City fan channel. Uh, today we are discussing the season's expectations from Callum Phillips. I mean, yesterday when you see Callum Phillips, I actually know that most of you would have thought that this guy is not a good fit for City. He will never learn and all. I mean, partly in the first half, he was responsible for at least for the first two goals of Yokohama Marinos for sure. He was not in the right position. It, it, it almost seemed, I mean, forget the concession of the goals. Even when he was receiving the ball from the defenders and, and, and when he was trying to move the ball forward, it always seemed that he did not know in which position to be. He did not know. He, he seemed unsure about the spatial awareness and the, the position around him. He, I mean, surprisingly, he seemed unaware of the players around him. It seemed as if Callum Phillips was... Was a traveler in a desert searching for oasis. It almost seemed that he's he. I mean, even after a season of acclimatization, for me, Callum Phillips was uh, seen as someone who's still lacking that bit of confidence. And you know, this is not a Cole Palmer or this is not a Sergio Gomez who have not experienced first team football and you can as much and he can be you know underconfident and stuff. No, this is a. Uh, this is a midfielder who has held the midfield on his own under Marcelo Bielsa against teams like Liverpool with Salah, Firmino, Sadio Mane, uh, with Jordan Anderson in the midfield. And he's even, he's even won a couple of those battles. So I'm actually baffled by how much time Callum Phillips is actually taking. But does it mean that I've given up on Callum Phillips and stuff? No, no, no. I've not given up on Callum Phillips. I still think that there is a... Very good, a fantastic player over there that is there to be unearthed. For some reason, it's, it still seems that he's taking that bit longer to get acclimatized. I don't know why. I can't underline the reasons. But, you know, you, you can actually look at it in two ways. You could say that he has got one knee. He had got last year the entire season to acclimatize and uh, get ready to the way, get used to the way City play. But if, if you look at it in another way, could see that last season, the entirety of last season, he was like almost caught up with injuries. How many minutes is Callum Phillips played last season uh, in all competitions? Probably less than Cole Palmer. So, so I'm, I'm, I, even I think it's probably less than Ivory Laporte as well, who's played decent decent minutes in the first half of the season. So, so and Ivory Laporte has played, but it's in the cup competition as well. So, so it it seems as if that is a uh, it's, it's a false sense of illusion thinking that Callum Phillips had got a lot of time to acclimatize in the first in his first season, which is the last season. Uh, he he has not there were many issues, injuries, overweight, whatever you might say, and then City having to win every match and Pep not being able to risk uh, Callum Phillips in that quest for treble towards the end. So. In, in a way, I think Callum Phillips did not get a lot of minutes last season. I mean, it's it's one thing acclimatizing and training and stuff. But it's it's another thing, you know, having those genuine minutes in, in, in the Premier League, in Champions League and stuff on the pitch with with with, uh, with, with the City team. So, so, I actually think that we need to give Callum Phillips that bit of a rope. Probably, I would even give him... Time till the middle of this season, for example, just to show how much of a desire he's showing to acclimatize and and compete for his position with the best stadium in the world, which is Rotary. So, so I think it's it's not right to judge Callum Phillips early. I, I, you, you could you could almost say this season was last season for Calvin Phillips because last season was a complete write-off. He did not play anything. So his first preseason game, he's doing so many mistakes. That for me was it, it's it's almost like we have bought Calvin Phillips new in in this transfer window. That's what of a uh, player Calvin Phillips is seeming due to him not getting many minutes last season. That makes any sense. So for me, this season's expectation from Callum Phillips is I want him to start regularly in the Carabao Cup, in the FA and in the FA Cup, and in some dead rubber group matches, uh, for example, in the Champions League and occasionally in the Premier League when there are three matches in a row, some point of time in the season. I mean, in a week, three matches, but. But but I also want him to earn the right to start. I want him to understand how to play uh, in the city system. I want him to demand the ball more. Yesterday I was seeing 
Then there was an instance of John Stones did not have any options to pass and Callan Phillips did not present himself as an option. As a CDM, the first thing which you need to do is give options to your midfielders, defenders, attackers. Put yourself in the line of fire. That is why CDMs are some of the, the greatest players the world has produced from the likes of your Makalili to Fernandinho to, to, uh, to, to your Rodri to Patrick Vieira to Roy Keane. I mean... To Andrew Perlo, so there are there are a huge number of CDM uh, central defensive midfielders who have won the game, who have dictated the games and won the games on their own. So Sergio Busquets, Xabi Alonso, so so I want Callan Phillips to put himself in the line of fire, not shy away from uh, the responsibility of putting himself in the line of fire, which he was doing uh, in the, in the preseason match. And also, I would like him to run more. He was not running more. He was not get yesterday. Yokohama Marino's first goal. I think how did it happen? Ortega pushes it into the danger area. Okay, he should have pushed it out, but he pushes it into the danger area, and 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 then actually uh, the Yokohama Marino's attacker scores on the rebound. Whereas Cal Rodri would have sprinted into the box and got to the ball first. Callan Phillips was seen jogging to the ball, if you see that video clip again. So, I want Callan Phillips to bring that sense of urgency to, to him, actually. So, ur urgency in his game, that urge to get to the box, that sense of, you know, that that I want him to show more, show more of that passion. Yes, the passion was lacking in his game. I mean, technically, everything is there for Callan Phillips. It's just that I don't know why he's shirking from responsibility, underconfidence, lack of... I mean, I mean that underconfidence is actually showing him, uh, him to have a la lack of passion. Actually, if that makes sense. So, so I want Kellen Phillips to, you know, take responsibility and demand the ball more. Once you start demanding the ball more, that's when you fill your teammates with confidence. So my expectation for Callum Phillips is to fight for that sec for, for that uh, place of Rodri, give him good competition and at least do enough to get into the cup, to start the cup competitions. If he doesn't start the cup competitions by the end of the year, majority of the cup competitions by the end of the year, then I think Callum Phillips is gone from the club. He will go for the club for sure. This will be the year, of the, it's, a, it's a do or die year for Callum Phillips. I don't say it for any player, but it is for Callum Phillips. You cannot have a passenger in that CDM. I can allow a passenger in a wing, in left wing, right wing, anywhere, but not in a CDM position. No, it's not allowed. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for uh, joining me in this show. We'll come up with a new player again uh, with regards to the season expectations. The aim is to cover every player uh, that's in, in our squad of 16, 17, 18 players who, who are likely to play this season and outline their expectations for this season. If you have enjoyed the video, please click on the bell icon, the like button and the subscribe button. Also share this video so that it reaches as many people as it can. Thank you so much guys for joining me and take care.